Today, we're going to make a watercolor resist mosk painting. Using simple lines and curves, we're going to draw the Jama Masjid in New Delhi. Here are a few things to gather. A paintbrush, watercolors, paper towel and water cup, oil pastel or crayon. I'm going to use a gold pastel today so I can see what I'm drawing. If you're advanced, you could try white. And of course, watercolor paper. Step one, dry horizontal line across the bottom of the paper. Step two, draw the vertical lines that make the tower. Find the middle of the paper and make a bigger building in the middle. Don't make it as tall as the towers. It should be about two third of the way higher. Step three, draw your horizontal lines. They will complete the towers and the smaller buildings beneath. Step four, we're going to draw a new shape, the upside down U. We're going to make big upside down U's and some small upside down U's. And remember, it doesn't have to look exactly like the drawing guide. This is your unique piece of art. I'm going to change it up too. I'm making fewer windows. Remember, if you're using a crayon at home and not an oil pastel, make sure to press down hard and create thick lines. It's amazing how simple shapes such as lines and curves can make something so intricate and beautiful. These beautiful towers on a mosque are actually called minarets. Uh-oh. I broke my pastel, but it's okay. Step five, draw vertical lines to add details to your moss drawing. Does this building look like another building you know? The Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal and the Jama Masjid that you're drawing today. Step six, we're going to draw a new shape, the half circle. Draw a half circle to create the three domes. Then top off your domes with three little circles. Step seven, draw vertical lines to add more details to your moss drawing. You can follow the guide or fill the mosque with other shapes like diamonds or hearts or stars. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go for some half circles this time. Wonderful work, you drew a mosque. Step eight, let's fill the night sky with a beautiful crescent moon and twinkling stars. Sprinkle stars everywhere. Check your drawing to see if there are more details you'd like to add. My mosque needs a door to welcome people inside. It's time to add color. First thing, use water to wake up your watercolors. I'm going to wake up yellow first. I'm starting with yellow, a primary color, because if other colors accidentally mix with yellow, it will still create beautiful new colors. Next, I'm using blue. I like the contrast, and if the colors accidentally overlap, it will make a beautiful green. Look at how our drawing is popping out from behind the paint. I'm going to wake up the green. 
Now with watercolors, it's important to use a lot of water to wake up your color so that your brush can do a lot of work before you have to get more paint. I really love this color combination. Another day, I might just stick to this yellow, blue, and green. But today, I'm going to use all of my colors. When I was younger, I painted my watercolors on printer paper, and that's a great place to start. But if you really want to learn more about watercolors, I recommend using watercolor paper, because then you can observe the way watercolor moves and blossoms to become art. When you're painting, observe which colors are overlapping. If you overlap too many colors, you're going to make a grayish brown. Brown is beautiful, but if you want to keep your original colors, don't mix them too much. It's time to paint the night sky. I want a darker shade of blue, so I'm going to mix blue with a teeny bit of black and use water to create a lot of paint. One of my favorite parts about watercolor is that you can use a paper towel to take color off the paper. I'm taking off some green. Last but not least, you can add more paint to make your colors brighter. If you look closely, I'm making small swirls with my paintbrush to make the paint look like clouds. Finally, the finishing touches. Thank you so much for painting this mosque with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Here is Keon's mosque made with yellow crayon and watercolors. Here is Zane's mosque. And I would love to see your painting too.